I'm Pam. I'm Hannah, and we're at the Jewel of the San Diego State Campus, Trader Joe's. Our favorite place to go about three times a day. Yeah, literally, we go here all the time, and it's so reasonably priced. All the workers are extremely kind. There's always samples, there's always new products, and there's lots of chocolate. Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm actually in my kitchen. I'm going to be doing a Trader Joe's haul for you guys because seriously, my number one question that I probably get all the time on YouTube and in real life is, am I on a diet? What do I eat? Things like that. So yeah, I just went to Trader Joe's and I'm just going to jump right into all of the things that I got and I hope that you guys love this video. If you do like it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And yeah, we're just gonna jump right into everything. Uh, these are just bananas. I usually get some bananas for my breakfast. I like eating a banana and then I also get these blueberry waffles. They are so delicious. They're definitely one of my favorites. So this is a typical breakfast for me. So if you are a vegan or a vegetarian and you're easily offended by meat, I would recommend clicking off of this video. These are some meats that I got. This is the top sirloin steak. And I think this is so delicious. I just season it with some salt and pepper. And I really like to cook my steaks usually like medium or medium rare. I just think this is just so delicious. And then this is in the frozen section, but I swear you guys, I've tried uh, some really expensive swordfish from like Whole Foods and the Trader Joe's one tops it every time. It tastes so good and it's a good deal as well. So I also just season it with some salt and pepper and I throw it on the pan. It's really quick, like five to seven minutes uh, in total and then this fish is just a really good quick meal. So moving on to carbs, uh, the vegetable fried rice is just a really easy, fast option. You can throw it on the pan. It takes like five minutes to cook and it tastes really good. And then this one I really like as well. This is the Trader Joe's linguine with pesto and tomatoes. So this is a nice carb side as well. Um, another thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that this year I really upped my carbs because before that, as you guys can tell by my old videos, I was quite a bit skinnier and I would always be so scared of some carbs and I would just have low carbs all the time. So now I'm not scared of carbs anymore and I definitely implement them in my diet. And then a lot of times I like to grab some chicken drumsticks. They're really economical. It's $3.48 and I just use some lemon pepper seasoning and I put them in the oven for about 30 minutes and they're just really good. So really tasty. Sometimes chicken can taste bland but these taste delicious. So now I'm going to jump into veggies. I got some broccolini or I get regular broccoli but I really love broccolini and then I got some break some break some grape tomatoes as well and then one of my favorite vegetables these are mushrooms I think they're so good so sometimes I just make this as a side and then I also can't forget my spinach this is just such a staple for me you can put it in sandwiches you can put it like I said as a veggie side so I always grab some baby spinach now I have this is a breakfast option or even a lunch option. This, it, these are the cinnamon raisin bread and I have two avocados in here. Um, I really do like the taste of avocado toast with some salt and pepper on it and it really fills me up. It's you know a healthy fat so this is just another little quick meal that I can throw together. So before I forget, there are two things that I usually grab just to throw in the freezer as like 
you know, backup meals when I'm running low on groceries. So these shrimp dumplings are so delicious. I can put them in the microwave, I think it's like two minutes, and they're really good. And then this is my favorite pizza from Trader Joe's. I've tested out quite a few. This one's definitely the, oh, it's so good. So I also usually grab some hummus, and I just, uh, usually I already have chips in my cabinet, and I just use some little uh, chips, and I, I use this as a snack to fill me up for work or something if I'm in a rush. And then I always grab some granola bars because like I said, if I'm in a rush, I just need some granola bars. These two are pretty good. This is the PB&J bar and then the peanuts and date bar. I usually switch it up. I don't like to get the same thing every time um, so I don't get sick of things. And then there was a huge hype around this seasoning. It's called everything but the bagel seasoning. I personally think it tastes good. I don't know. Uh, if I agree with the huge hype around it, I do, I do like it on as a seasoning, but I don't think it's anything really, really crazy. But I'm sure, you know, it's healthy and I do like to add this onto a lot of my meals. Like the avocado toast, that would taste really good with this on top. And then, saving the best for last, a lot of you guys are under the impression that I I uh, don't eat any sugar or anything, but I do. I have a sweet tooth and I like to indulge because life is too short. So these are some of my favorites. They taste so good. I, oh my gosh, I look like I'm in a commercial every time I eat these because I'm just like in heaven. But these are the brookies. They're usually kind of gooey. They just taste so homemade. So what it is, it's half brownie and half cookie and it's just so delicious. Like I think together it tastes even better. And then I've been so hooked on these Scandinavian swimmers. They kind of taste like Swedish fish, but better. And I cannot stop buying them, so they are so delicious. And uh, yeah, these are kind of little desserts that I like to grab for after dinner, sometimes after lunch. Um, just depends on what I'm craving.